What's going on, drivers? Good day to you guys and gals. Terry Tips want to talk about something else. Let's talk about these three features that I dislike and like. All right? I don't, you guys probably are familiar with these, or you might not be. Either way, you know, I want to bring it up to everybody's attention and talk a little bit about it. But, um, first one that I love, the boost. You got to love the boost, man. Boost over guarantees. I'm voting boost this year. I'm not voting Hillary. I'm not voting Trump. I'm not voting Obama. I'm voting boost. And I ain't talking about Boost Mobile. I'm talking about the Boost Fares on Uber. I'm loving those right now, Uber. I appreciate those. Even though, you know, the Boost Fares don't pay right away, which is cool. But at least you're guaranteed to know what you're getting right there. At least they show you that you're getting it. You know, you're getting paid. They show you what you're getting. But with guarantees, let's let's compare boost to guarantees. All right. At least boost, you know, and you see if you're getting what or what you're getting or how much you're getting, what the surge is. And, you know, but with guarantees, it's like, did you read the fine print? You missed something on a fine print, you know, and. You won't know if you got the guarantees until the end of the week. So you'll be putting in all these hours, all these work, all this working. But I'm not a fan of guarantees, I'll be honest. But boost fares, I'm a big fan of. Definitely in my area. You know, I I see the boost just in my area. I'm gone. I'm out. I'm cutting on. But um let me say what was the other feature that we had? Oh, uh, sheesh. Let's, where's my Kroger list? Let me get my list out. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Let me get my Kroger list out real quick. See what's going on around this mug. All right. The reserved spots. Like, people, now Uber and Lyft just picked up this feature, too, where you can, um, like, reserve your spot. Like, let's say, um, you're going in the morning. It's 11 o'clock at night. You're going to the airport in the morning, and you order your ride early. All right? So, you, you automatically get a call at 5 a.m. You know, to go to the airport. You want to leave at 5? Before you go to sleep, order your Uber now. Lyft also do it. Order your your ride now before you go to sleep. So when you wake up, your ride's already coming. Okay? Now this feature right here is a so-and-so for me. I like it because it's rides. You know, it's more rides the more better, of course. But one time, it I picked up, I was out there, and this one ride called me, no exaggeration, four times. Right? So the same ride. And the thing, I didn't pick it up because it was pool. And that's another thing I don't do. I'll be honest. I don't do pools. So I didn't pick it up because it was a pool. So first time it came it was a pool i ignored it second time it came it was a pool i ignored it and i'm like dang what's going on like somebody picked this up man and keep coming third time it came i was like man i'm not picking this up they're crazy i was like maybe the person will realize you know nobody's picking up pool and then a fourth time it came it was a regular ride and it was the same person so i went and picked her up 
And uh, I was just talking to her. I, I forgot all about the pool stuff. But she was like, yeah, uh, luckily, I, you know, I love the new feature where I can order my ride early. And, you know, I ordered it last night. And I was like, oh, that's what happened. So now Uber Pool is set up to come first on their rides that they ordered, that they pre-ordered. All right. So the system, Uber set the system up to order the rides and pool first. All right. Now it came, it was the fourth time it came as a regular. So it, Uber ordered this program, this computer to do three pools before it goes to a regular. So they already know people is not accepting pools. All right. So, you know, that's my up and down on that one. Just because, you know, order pool first, then it orders a regular. But it's great because a lot of people, it's better features for everybody. All right. Um, Another one. The, uh, oh, the closest driver. Did you guys ever run into the closest driver where it can throw you off or you can pick up? Now, I'm not too, I'm a little, you know, sketchy on that one because um, I remember I had a, a surge at like a 2.6, right? And I'm, and it was, it was pretty far. I was like, man, it was like 10, 11 minutes away. I was like, shoot, but 2.6, I'm on my way. So I was headed there. And as I was headed there, it said, rerouted. We, uh, Uber found you a closer ride. So I'm like, yo, I got a 2.6. What do you mean? You're going to take me off my 2.6? I want that ride. But Luckily, it was another 2.6. All right, but the thing about it, it throws everything off because I don't know if it was a driver headed to the second ride that I picked up and maybe it cut them off, you know, from heading off, heading to that ride that I picked up. And this happened to me before. I'd be headed, headed to a, a ride, a pickup, and it'll just say cancel or I'll pick it up and you get an error or something. Like, it's acting funny. So, I don't know if it's throwing a system off some. And plus, if I'm on a surge of a 2.6, what if the, you know, the program, the Uber, what if Uber picked me up with a closer um, ride and I'm going to a 2.6 and then it takes me to a 1.3? That's closer. I won't be happy. You know what I'm saying? So those three things, like I said, boost fares, definitely a thumbs up. Um, the order your ride, um, you know, I'm sitting on a fence with that one because the pool grabs first. They should at least have that option. Do you want pool? You know, they so they're not giving that option on their uh reserve ride when they order their ride early. And uh the closest pickup I I'm not I'm not fond of that. They might have to do a little bit more you know, a little bit more looking into that one. Cause I don't wanna be thrown off a uh, um a high surge and then go to a lower surge because it's right there. I'm not going to be happy. But, uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about, people. No, I usually don't go to 10 minutes. I try to keep it at 6. Went over, but happy driving. Y'all know the money's out there, so stay out there. Talk to you guys later. Terry Tits with another one for you signing out.